It has been a very exciting week here at comicbook.com, and that's why we're here with the weekly roundup to make sure that you did not miss any of it. It has been a packed few weeks for movie trailers. As I'm sure you know, the Star Wars Episode 7 trailer debuted last week. What you might not know is that it broke a record in doing so. The trailer debuted to over 58 million views on YouTube, which broke the record for most views within the first week of being uploaded. This record was previously held by the Avengers Age of Ultron, but the superheroes would have been no match for nostalgia because regardless of Star Wars, Jurassic World opened to just under 54 million views. Warner Brothers dropped a casting bombshell on us, and by bombshell I mean they announced almost the whole cast of the Suicide Squad. They unveiled that Will Smith will be playing Deadshot, Tom Hardy will be Rick Flagg, Jared Leto will be our new Joker, Jay Courtney will be Boomerang, Cara Delevingne will be Enchantress, and Margot Robbie will be Harley Quinn. Casting has not been finalized for Amanda Waller, but rumor has it Oprah Winfrey is up for the role. Spoiler warning! Spoilers ahead for The Walking Dead if you're not caught up. This week marked the mid-season finale of The Walking Dead, but more importantly, it marked the end of the road for one of our favorite characters. Beth, who has been with us since season two, is no longer. Dawn claimed her with a bullet to the head during the exchange in the hospital between the hospital group and Rick Grimes and company, but Daryl quickly got his vengeance, eye for an eye, by putting a bullet in Dawn's head. AMC spoiled this moment for millions of people though. They posted this image on their Facebook, the emotional moment of Daryl carrying Beth out of the hospital, with the phrase, rest in peace Beth. For all the people who were spoiled, AMC issued an apology saying they will do their best to never spoil anything in the future. This week, ComicBook.com debuted a sneak peek at the 50th anniversary variant of the Inhumans comic book. That cover, however, may have indicated the identity of the secret city in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. If you look at the floor on Black Bolt's throne room, you will see markings on the floor identical to those of the alien writing featured in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which leads S.H.I.E.L.D. and Hydra to a secret city. Although the cinematic and comic universes do not connect, they do tend to mimic each other. Could this mean that S.H.I.E.L.D. is heading to Adelan? The Flash vs. Arrow 2 part crossover was awesome, right? We saw the heroes team up, we saw them fight each other, but more importantly, Spoiler if you're not caught up, I'll give you a second. Okay. More importantly, we got our first look at Robbie Amell's Firestorm. We don't know when we'll see Ronnie Raymond again, but let's take a look at when we saw him for the first time. Anyone tell you not to hang out on the freeway at night? You're liable to get robbed. You got the shakes, man. What are you, tweaking or just cold? <laughs> So that's five, but I've got a couple bonus stories I have to share with you. Ryan Reynolds will be playing Deadpool, and the movie is set to go into production in March, and finally, Benedict Cumberbatch is actually confirmed to be Doctor Strange. That's all I got for you this week. I'm Brandon Davis. Make sure you check out comicbook.com all week to stay up to date. I'll see you next week.